like something out of a science fiction movie, but a spacecraft is on its way right now to intentionally crash into an asteroid. Yeah, but you don't have to rent this one. You can just uh, watch <laughs> it happen in real time, right? CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Rachel Dunson explains the science fact behind this mission. It's the size of a school bus moving more than 14,000 miles per hour and will crash into an asteroid changing its orbit. It's called DART, the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, and it's one way of making sure our planet stays safe. We're going to uh, go and impact the moon of this double asteroid system named Dimorphos. We're going to change its orbit around the larger body called Didymos, so we're going to redirect it. And it's a test, it's an experiment so that we can um, you know, kind of kind of see how this technique works. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but investigation team lead Andy Rifkin says DART is kind of like insurance. We want it just in case, but hope we never have to use it. So how does it work? Rifkin says, think of the game of pool. In this case, DART is a very, very tiny, you know, cue ball, and the Dimorphos is a gigantic, hopefully not an eight ball. So, you know, we, we hit it as hard as we can, and it'll kind of give that, that, uh, that billiard ball just a little bit of a nudge. Uh, and that's enough to change its orbit around Didymos in a way that we can measure. The speed of this asteroid will only change a small fraction of an inch per second, but that change would be enough to protect the Earth if we know what's coming. Even that tiny speed change, if we were to do it 20 or 30 years ahead of time on a, on a dimorphosized sized object, would be enough to make it miss the Earth. And that's the other piece of planetary defense, is finding what's out there so that we have the 20 or 30 years warning to, to be able to use techniques like this. While nothing is headed our way now, learning more about what's out there will keep us protected, just in case. Meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17.